Right then, welcome back. Today, today we are going to ride some 600s in the 600cc passion event. We're all over the place. We're on in America. We're in Europe, um, mucking about on bikes that love to be thrashed, basically. And again, I'm trying to use stuff that I've not necessarily used um, primarily on this one, the the 600cc DLC that came. So every bike is a new bike i've never used them before and it sometimes causes a bit of an issue primarily around the braking so the first event we're at road america i'm on a gsxr 600 and it's the link between the braking and the engine braking and what they like and what they don't like and it's impossible to know without using them but i'm too stubborn still to go and test the bikes unless it's an endurance race because i'm impatient so I muck about with the setup, I fall off a few times, try and work out what they want, and then we end up getting where we're getting. First attempt, smashed it into the wall, no good. Second attempt, things went much better. I'm not a massive fan of the track, especially in the dark. It's it's quite a wide track with the braking markers in like random places just over the brow hills and stuff like that. But attempt two, we did much better.
So one done. Still had a few issues with the braking. Still running wide, especially at the end of the the really long back straight into that 90 degree 90 degree left hander and that gravel trap I was in there far too many times. But it's done. Gold is gold, and we move swiftly on to. I think it's. Time attack at Snetterton? Yes. Snetterton time attack. So again, we've got all the DLC bikes and I was trying to be clever and, and work out which one to use when and what and what would be good and the 2004 B2H Kawasaki. When these things came out, they were just mental. They were tiny little balls of anger in a bored out 600 with a bored out 600 cc engine in a 250 alike chassis and they were just mental they they are slowly but surely going up so if you've got one keep it if you haven't got one and you want one go and buy one now but don't buy a blue one don't buy a blue one buy a green one it's a kawasaki it has to be green it definitely has to be green this time trial at snetterton it's it's a decent target it's not massively difficult as long as you kind of know where you're going and you don't spanner it, you should be alright. Two down. We'll do it by five seconds in the end. Yeah, it's just nice and steady away. Like I said, don't go, don't go mad, and, and you'll be all right. Next up, we are going to Portimao for a five lapper in the Portuguese Algarve, and again, spreading the love about. Thought we'd go for. 2018 CBR 600RR very very usable bike got a bit of a soft spot for these especially in Repsol colours not that horrible black that that one's in much prefer the Repsol covers it's Portimao it's a bit of a pain in the arse with regards to the bumps and everything else so I kind of went for a meh set up again in the vain hope that I'd just be able to blag it and make it through at the end.
it's done. The tyres, the tyres are a bit all over the place. Um, I should really spend time setting stuff up, but I can't be bothered. So I just kind of wing it and hope that I can get it done. But it is what it is. Next one, next one. We're at Magni Cores. Now, I love Magni Core. One of my favourite tracks. So, race bikes, there's always going to be qualifying. I wasn't quite sure what bike to use. I just used a Honda. I've only got a Honda and Kawasaki left. They're the only other two bikes in the pack. So, I went with a Kawasaki, chinned qualifying straight off. It's still on 120%. And I thought, I'll be clever. I'll start from the back of the grid. I'll leave it on max difficulty. I'll throw a setup in it and we'll see what happens. And, well, I've left the whole five laps on because I think the track's mega and I think it's a good race. So, enjoy.
she's done four down yes I, I know it's a bit cocky but it's just the AI aren't particularly quick on Magni cores so I find that if you start at the front half a lap in you've got a second second and a half lead and it's a bit of a yawn fest but anyway four down want to go and Canadian time motorsport park now the AI are not slow on this one the AI are ridiculously fast on this one so qualifying was not ignored qualifying was very much uh, completed until I got a lap that I was reasonably happy with I'm still half a second slower than the AI they are using a bit of a faster bike and well I never seem to have a bad race on this track attempt one was was close I mean we're we're three laps in start a third lap halfway around the third lap and it just the AI is just fast like mega fast I end up pushing the bike too hard um, no matter what I'm riding I usually run on the grass or this that and the other and they just the AI are just monstrous I just can't get my mind around it um, especially into this corner here turn 8 is it yeah into turn 8 they carry so much speed and I always feel under pressure to then get it back through this left and the next right I run onto the kerb and I've been off there countless times and that's that done never gonna catch it up attempt 2 now I kinda wished that attempt 2 was the one that um, that got it done but it, it wasn't because it was just a ding dong an absolute just battle um, from the word go with those two chaps Richard and Sandro um, it just it just never stops you get past one and another one will come past you you get past another and then the one that was in third will come past you so end of lap one into turn eight I've gone past I know he's going to come back up the inside so I leave a little bit of room because otherwise they just dive bomb you and then we're back onto the making ground up through the left and right onto the start finish straight so we've caught him up I run a bit wide and I just like the 600s once you get them up to 12 13 grand they're all right but they've got no torque they've got no mid-range everything's at the top end so you've got to carry as much corn speed as you can and it just it was just going to be one of them races that was going to be mega and I basically made a mess of it um, it just it was just like this for for the whole time um, I think when I last was it three laps or so and it just went it just went I just balls it up basically so I run wide there and I really do struggle with that that corner that turn six onto the back straight but I do find that you get in the draft and you can work your way back past but we're coming up to turn eight again aren't we so I know that a couple of tenths of a second is not enough so I don't commit too hard to the inside line and there he was shoving his nose in I managed to hold him off and four laps I didn't think it went that far but I've not got the setup right the tyres are a bit cold so I end up running onto the inside onto the grass and spanning it one of the worst ways to finish a race but what will be will be I I did tweak the setup a little bit I know I didn't put it in there I apologise but attempt three I've left the whole race on again I don't think I get more than a second in front at any point on this it is it's just one of them races they always seem to be mega on this track so enjoy
that's it. She's done. Five laps on there. I'm always knackered when I finish them on there as well. Because they're just, like I say, they're just non-stop. But it's done. All five races are done. It's a good event, actually. It, it is part of the deal, premium DLC, I think. Um, it's just... It's just a nice event. You get some nice bikes, and you can just go and thrash them and, and get them screaming. But thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, leave me a like. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe. I'm not going to stop until I've got a little gold medal on everything. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know how you're getting on. And fingers crossed, I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Peace.